Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, all glory be to God, we are together again. Amen. Amen. Oh, I hope you all are doing well and blessed. I do. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, life, there's enough going on in life. And uh, thank God that we have an um, amazing, loving, living God who wants us to be happy. And so he gives us these little joys in the day. So I hope you can find the joy in today. Because today is a gift. And tomorrow is not promised. So let's rejoice in today. Okay, um, I have something fun to share. It's so fun. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I get excited at these. Um, because, you know, I like bringing you the fun stuff. I like to bring you the, the things that make you smile, make you feel good. And this is one of those. I received um, last night, early in the morning, yesterday morning, I don't know how you want to say it, um, a rapture dream. <laughs> Yay! And, and I, that's all this could be. And in fact... I could see it happening, I knew it was happening, and it was just joyous, and I'm going to stand on that joy and rejoice in God, because God is so good and loves us. Okay, what a gift. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, so I feel like I'm looking forward, and this is my dream. I feel like I'm looking forward, and I can see the left side is dark, like a void, and the right side is white and clouds, and the the, the, so the screen is split, okay. In the clouds, I can see people, and there, it's like a, I, I wish I had a better word for it, but I could see, like, rings of the cloud around them so if there was if they were like emanating a force and and the clouds were billowing around whatever force was around them similar to like this where some it was cloudy around them and they were inside and I could see them being pulled up into the air and maybe that's how I could see that there was something around them and that the the loop of clouds was around them because they were being pulled up pulled up as fast as they could and I remember feeling so happy like I'm watching like I was like Wow, I'm watching these people being pulled up. It's like that was a feeling I thought. And I'm like, this is so great. And every time I saw some, you know, more being pu people pulled up, I also could feel this same f force that was pulling me up too. Um, the best way I can describe it is in my previous videos, when I felt like I was being raptured, I felt like I had hands or arms or something under my arms pulling me up and the rest of me was just sort of dangling. This, it felt like an energy around me and I was almost being propelled from my feet up and it was like pushing me like a rocket up. And then I, I could feel this energy around me. And I, maybe that's why I was so excited because I could feel this energy around me. I'm like, yeah, this is exciting. I'm watching people getting raptured. And this is beautiful. And then I noticed as they were going up, the higher they got, I could only really see from their waist up. I couldn't see their... It, I don't know if it's because they had so many clouds around them or they were getting past me going up higher I, I have no explanation for it but the, as they were traveling going up they were losing their form and all I it, it could just really see was their torso and their head and arms 
going up and it was just such a beautiful it was beautiful it was the joyous I felt joy so happy 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 um, but then something else really cool happened and please forgive the clip please forgive the clip <laughs> sorry about the cartoon sorry about the cartoon but this is the closest thing to exactly what I saw I saw animals going up as well and they were just like this they were in that same they had that same cloudy loop around them like the you know like there was an energy that they were emanating and the clouds were around that energy and they were laying down they had their heads down um, uh, going up all different animals I remember the closest one to, to me was a dog um, and I could see that he was like I don't know um, just laying down but going up the animals were with us isn't that glorious and then I woke up and I was like so happy now I'm gonna share a little personal thing I thought it was kind of cool but I fell back asleep once I looked at the time said nope and I hit snooze and uh, <laughs> And I and I closed my eyes and I laid back down and I saw my daughter at her school and she was actually in a different part of the campus her classroom is on directly on the other side so when I look back and I recognized that that was my daughter I was picking her up from school um, in my dream I was like wait a minute she's she's not where she's supposed to be so I started walking towards her and I'm like hi and she starts walking towards me and she was wearing a light blue t-shirt one of their school shirts and she had a, her backpack on her left shoulder and on her right shoulder in my dream was a beautiful wing it was wispy white almost like see-through and a little taller than her head but I could see the curvature and the shape of a wing on my daughter and I thought oh my gosh it's so great and I started running I just got the chills I just started running towards her in my dream and then I woke up and I thought how beautiful and then when we started eating her dressed um, this was yesterday so when I started getting dressed for school you know I was looking for that shirt <laughs> I'm digging through her 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 dresser <laughs> and I found it and I put her in that shirt yesterday <laughs> I'm sorry I'm gonna wrap it up I'm being silly now but I was so excited by that dream and I was like looking in that same area of the school but no she came from her classroom like she normally does <laughs> but I <laughs> sorry I'm telling on myself I'm so embarrassed anyway but that was like this beautiful like gift that God gave me, he showed me that my daughter had this wing on her back. So awesome. Angel wing. Maybe. Okay, anyway, I'm going to show a uh, scripture and I'm going to let you go. Okay, we're in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, King James Version. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Amen so I'm going to leave you with that and I'm going to leave you with the knowledge of how much Jesus Christ loves you. That's love. <laughs> That's love. Everlasting. Before we were even, before our ancestors were even born, he did this. And he'll do this for the generations to come, if there are generations to come. He, he, he did this for the world. I love you. God loves you more. Please take care and may God bless you and keep you always.
Talk soon. Bye for now.